So Israelites is a religion? No. Because if you're not a, belie a believer in Christ, you haven't completely surrendered your life to him. And I'm not just talking about professing it, but living it out. This is the, I think it's the NLT. You need to repent. You need to repent. And repentance is not just saying, Lord, forgive me, and then going back to doing the old same thing that you did before. Repentance is turning around and turning away from sin. And you need his Holy Spirit to do that. Examine yourselves. Those professing Christians out here that are professing that you know Christ, examine yourselves to see if you are in the faith. It's critical. So this is Moses because talking to the Israelites after they come out of Egypt, right? So it says, if thou shalt pass, like it, it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the top of this chapter is talking about the blessings that happen if they don't sin. But for the 15, it talks about what happened if they don't listen and they break the commandments. So it says, but it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee today, that all these curses shall come upon thee. I didn't have to be a slave to sin anymore. See, there's many. Real quick. Because it's going to list a bunch of curses. So 46 says, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So like going you turn grass, away from sin the because religion, of the Holy Spirit that lives in you, that cleanses you. That came from That's how. Whose name was changed to Israel. You don't have to do it on your own. So we can go to God does not leave you. I can get straight to the point. He needs you to surrender. Your surrender. Your surrender. Your surrender. So when you surrender to him, that's when there's power that comes over you. How long have you been studying? Power of the Holy Ghost. I've been a believer of Jesus. Let me tell y'all because the media, they got it twisted. The Holy Ghost. Okay. It's not just shout, jumping. 28 and 68, last verse. I'm not sure what George says, but it says, And the Lord thy God, like, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shit. And when people are brought into slavery on shit. In God's sight. He is the one that sanctifies you. When people on earth was brought into slavery on shit. That's what the Holy Ghost is. I mean, is that the answer though? I mean, is that what you're trying to get at? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's part of the prophecy that. The Holy Ghost dwells in you. When you're born again, that's what the Holy Ghost does. He didn't mean in slavery. He's your helper. Because, you know, in the beginning, in the Exodus, we get that Exodus 20 and 2. It says, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of body. So Egypt is synonymous with the house of body. Meaning slavery. Remember this. You with me? Okay. So back to 68 says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again, I mean it's slavery. With shit. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Or by men and by women. So slave men and slave women. I don't care how cautious you are. I mean, that's one of many points. I don't care how good of a person you Have you heard that before? But you don't have time. None of us know. No, no, that's, not, that's, that's not what life. I said. Not because I'm black. No. I mean, but that doesn't show that, that, that we black. are, we are, I mean, I'm. Right, so, so basically it, it says. It doesn't, that doesn't turn away that we are Israel. Verse 46 says, and it should be upon thy seed for a sign. So just like, what are those, Adidas? They, I don't, yeah, I don't even see the sign, so I don't know. But you look at watch you, you see the check. It's a sign. It's an indicator that these are Nikes. I'm, li I'm listening. I'm able to multitask. So okay, I just got to be aware of my surroundings. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. No, this is my vibe. Why you make that face? Why you make that face? What are you trying to tell me? I'm an Israelite. You have to repent, keep the commandments. What do you think? What's an Israelite? An Israelite is a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Of so we all are. 
Who is we all? Uh, everybody. Everybody? Yeah, is everybody? We repented and given their lives to Christ. Is every, can you tell me a verse that says that? Everybody? I said those that who are all children changed. of God. Okay, and their lives to Christ. So is everybody a child of God? No, not everybody. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, so. It's the King James. So let's go to Romans 9. Y'all believe in the New Testament? The whole, the whole Bible, the Bible says that all Bible. Bible. Are you, okay. Let's go to Romans chapter 9. We can start from the top, really. Truth in Christ, this is Paul speaking, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. So Paul is saying he's not lying and he's in the Spirit. That I have sorrow, I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. You follow me? of the law and the service of God and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came so it's talking about fleshly Israelites that's who Christ died for the Bible says according to the flesh in John 3 and 16 if we go to the most simple verse wait before we go there said, for God so loved the world wait, that we he can go there. I really want to go there son, I really I got faith that whosoever we don't believes go there in him Shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay. So who is he talking to? In the context of John 3, who is he talking to? Whosoever. Who is whoever? If I say whoever wants this money, come get it. If I what say if I say whoever wanna hold my Bible, you can hold it. Am I talking to the people all the way over there? Or I'm talking to us who can hear you. Exactly. So whoever hears it. Okay, who are there? What okay, who's the context of John? So then we were there with um exactly. I, mean, I, I, I get, I got you, I got you. I get so, the whole thing, but I just wanted to know. I got you. So basically what happened is the sister came over, and then the we were talking about the curses in Deuteronomy, and then the conversation kind of switched into all nations or all people can be saved. And then I said, well, okay, let's go to Romans 9 and see what the Bible says. And then we went there, and then the sister brought up John 3.16. So I was going to show her the context of John 3 chapter 3 to show who he was talking to. Right? So is that okay if we do that? Sure. I mean, I we, then we would have to go back to say who was being spoken to in the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Exodus. Okay, let's do that. We're not speaking, we're not, they weren't speaking to us. All right. Even the, uh, I'll do that real quick. Even Deuteronomy 1 and 1, it says, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Uh, you can start verse 1 for context. It says, There was a man, a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. So in the context of John 3, he's talking to a Jew. And then if you go to verse 14, before you get to 16, 14 comes first, right? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll let you get there real quick. Okay. okay, this is...
Jobs. Are you trying to say like, okay, well he's speaking to the Israelites or Israel? In this as far as salvation pertains, it pertains to the Israelites. Yeah, but let's talk about like Galatians, like the, the, the Galatians church, Israelite, Israelites. He's also speaking to Gentiles. Right, but can an Israelite be a Gentile? No, 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 no. Can an Israelite be a Gentile? But, but, but he's speaking to Gentiles as well. Can an Israelite be a Gentile? But we're, we're not going to stop at the part that he's speaking to the Gentiles. We have to accept the entire as well. We I have agree. to accept the entire I mean, thing. But can, can we can we both come to? We can walk together. I, I right, hear what you're I hear saying. what you're saying. No, I, listen. I, I know what make you're. Sure. I know what you're saying, so, yeah. and I'm not. You know, so, we're Israelite. not going to argue. I know. Right? That's what I'm saying. Right, but we're going to also acknowledge that. In Galatians, he's also speaking to the Gentiles. So I'm not going to go back and see if I'm from the tribe of this, if I'm from the tribe of that. What I'm going to acknowledge that is that now I'm a born again believer. Of Jesus whether Christ. I'm of Jesus Christ, whether I'm a Gentile or an Israelite. Can you show me so, where in Galatians? Because I, I, you can see I, I made a lot of studying on this. I don't know exactly where, but we just acknowledge the fact, both you and I, that he was also speaking to the Galatians. Or, I'm uh, sorry, to the Gentiles. Okay. But Israelites can be called Gentiles, right? Gentiles are called Israelites. So check this out. If you go into if you go into like the Hebrew, uh, Gentile means goyim, which just means nation. So now we're also you're also saying that you guys are called Gentiles as well. Let's go to. So then that, no, I, I told you to answer me because yeah. if it is, it's, the Bible says if if any man speaks, let him speak as the oracle of God. So, like I, in church, I was taught a lot of stuff, but it wasn't really out the Bible, so. That's kind of my thing. I like to show in the Bible what I'm saying. So I'm not like, you know, adding my own words. So let's go. We can go to Corinthians. All these are epistles of Paul. So it's consistent. I thought you was done. No, I'm not done. Well, I was kind of talking well, to this. We're, doing this we're both doing it together. And I'm not trying to disrespect what you got going on here. I respect you. Um, I may not agree with you, but I respect you. But I'm not going to go toe to toe, blow to blow. Okay, can I show you the last point and then leave? If you respect me. In the Bible? Because you kind of. Just because I respect you, then we don't have to sit here and, and listen to something okay. that I don't believe in and that I know for certain is not the truth. Okay, so, so I'm going to stand on that. Is it? You don't believe in the God Bible? God bless you. Can an Israelite be a Gentile? I just want to show you that. I'm not going back and forth with you. I've already, we've so, already both acknowledged that in the book of Galatians, I didn't, he I was didn't also, that. you did. No, I didn't. Look back on your I camera. I said that because Gentiles are Israelites. <laughs> but we're about to go preach. Right. God bless you. I'm going to bring this out for the edification. This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and passed through the sea and were baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. This is talking about the Israelites in the wilderness. And then going to 1 Corinthians 12 and verse, verse 1. Pretty now concerning well. spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Come.